So I have somebody who is very obsessed with ice in this house. She will run at the sound of the ice machine, come upstairs, grab any ice that has possibly fallen, take in the other room and play with it until it melts and leaves a wet spot on our carpet. Lots of fun. 10 o'clock in the morning, I just started editing the vlog that should already be up, like I'm to make myself some coffee. I thought I would show you guys how I've been making my coffee because so many of you guys have been asking for a tutorial on my Instagram. But honestly, it's not anything special and I cheat by using pre-sweetened cold brew from uh, Kroger, just the Starbucks stuff. So, you know, I don't know. All right, so I take a glass, I fill it up with ice if I'm doing iced coffee. If I'm doing hot coffee version, obviously I wouldn't use ice and I would just be drip pouring my own or making my own coffee. Uh, but since I'm doing ice because it's so nice out today, I am using the Starbucks Subtly Sweet to Medium Roast. I love this because I don't have to add any sugar because it's already kind of slightly sweetened to the point where it's like perfect for the way that I like my coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can call her. I already no, said that. She will answer on Messenger. She might not have Messenger app on her phone. Why don't you call her on FaceTime? Okay. Wait, she's not on my FaceTime. You can add her. Have Daddy add her. Okay. Fill it up with coffee. Now I'm going to get to my frothy cold milk, which I'm using my Morocco um, milk foamer frother thingy. I showed you guys this on Instagram in the last video as well. And I just use regular milk. We'll lactate whole milk. Then I froth. And then while I'm doing that, I go grab my Tarani vanilla syrup, which I just ordered this in a pump because I'm going through it so much. And I kind of just eyeball two pumps. Again, I just order it in a pump form because I don't like having to eyeball it. I'd rather know like I'm doing a pump. Then I take a spoon and I stir it up. Frother's done. Huh? And it looks like that. I actually got some on the outside and I made too much froth, so I'm gonna drink some. It looks like that. I'm gonna take some caramel and then drizzle that on top as well. And they're done. And then there you have it, there's my coffee. I add a straw and I'm good to go. John stole my table. He stole my table. I cleared off the puzzle, took it apart piece by piece, packed it away, just so I could start sewing my masks at this table. And then I turned my back for maybe five minutes and John set up his office up here. In the words of Michelle Tanner, no, Stephanie Tanner, how rude. Who's that? John's too old to know that. Dog barking in three, two, one. Mailman stopped by. It is beautiful out. I took some of my plants outside to get some sun. I'm gonna have to bring them back in though at night just because it's warm during the day but it's not warm enough at night yet to leave them out there and them not get damaged. I plan to move a couple more plants outside permanently for the summer season. I'm not one to usually put my house plants outside but I kind of want to see what happens if I do do that. Like. I wanna see if I can manage pest control and everything if I do that. I've been really good at not having any pests on my plants, so I don't know if I'm kind of like living dangerously and I don't know, we'll see. I had to move my Monstera back up here because it was getting really leggy downstairs in the laundry room, so kind of got these guys hanging out, keeping John company. I feel like with the sun in his face and the plants next to him, it makes a good working environment. What do you think, John? It's better than being next to the kids while they play video games or throw things in. <laughs> the downstairs is being taken over by the kids for their schoolwork and video games. So John moved up here, which is where I've been working um, to edit videos. Yeah, yeah, if I work and edit on this corner and John works over here at this table, we can kind of have some privacy. Hi, Nuna. I do need to, however, sew our masks, which I got materials for at Walmart the other day. Um, I'm currently washing and drying them because when I quilted with my mom growing up, 
the first thing to do stuff like that is to wash your fabric because fabric will shrink so you don't want like the seams getting tight or anything like that so you pre-shrink all your fabric and then you sew that's something i learned from her so i'm waiting for that to happen i think i'm gonna have to sew at the kitchen table though cool. ava what's wrong you don't want to be in the video what? ava hasn't showered in like five days I was trying to finish this. oh um <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to sew, I think, at the kitchen table since John's taking over the front table. And since he's the only income as of right now, I can't really force him out of that spot because that wouldn't be fair. Guy, are you on that base or are you playing defense? How do we throw the bat down? You drop it. Are you there playing you defense? All right. You're a runner. Put the glove down. You don't need the glove. Hold on, Kelly. What do I do? Just run to second base. Right? And then go to third. Go get it. Go get it. Ah! Ow. Where are you going to go? First base? It's a grounder. Or second. Do I go second? Ah! Run. First. Ah! Second. Go, go, go. Here. No. Run. 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 You could stay on the base. You're safe if you stay on the base. Why go hit again? I don't know where to go. Wait, why? We're gonna do this again because Kai's learning the game. So oh. sweetie, if he hits it on a grounder, you run the second. I don't know. Or you go home. Do it. Yeah. 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 We should play kickball. Oh, I like kickball more. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that's All right, ready? If he hits it, run him from this base. Okay. Maybe you cover first. As soon as he hits it, go. Now that the sun's gone down a little and it's not so glary, I brought out this monstera and repotted it. She's so much happier in a bigger pot. I should have done it sooner. Um, but I'm gonna have to bring her in tonight because it's supposed to get really cold for this next week at nighttime. Woo, I thought a ball was gonna hit me. Um, I brought out a pothos, a syngonium, a ZZ, a snake plant. Where'd Georgie go? Oh, there she is. There she is! There she is! You and White need to go take showers. What? <laughs> Good morning, so it is Thursday. I don't know what day it is. Alexa, what's today? April 9th. April 9th. So I, on April 9th, am going to finally jump on the bandwagon and try this South Korean iced whipped something coffee that y'all keep asking me to try. And yeah, 
Caffeine is caffeine. I don't care which way it's getting into my system. You guys remember when I was caffeine free for like four years? <laughs> It did help my endometriosis though, and if I start having attacks again, caffeine's the first thing to go. I actually bought ingredients for the, I think it's, I think it's pronounced Delgano, Dalgana, whatever, coffee. I bought the ingredients a while ago during our last shopping trip, I just hadn't tried it yet. So you need instant coffee, sugar, and milk. Doable. John, you wanna try whipped coffee? Yeah. Okay. Does it have coffee in it? Yes, it has coffee in it. Alright, so I gotta get the sugar down. Sugar! And then, ah, I need to get this out. Because one of the girls I'm friends with on Instagram, she's my Canadian friend. She's the first person I saw do this, and she was like whipping it by hand. Took her forever, so then she realized, oh, I can use a blender, so I am skipping. Hi, you want coffee? More, please. I'm skipping ahead and just going straight to the blender because I don't have time to hand whip anything. Actually, I do have time, I just don't want to do it. Let's be real, I have all the time in the world right now. I don't tickle me, I'm gonna punch you. All right, so. Do you like my beard, Kelly? No, I don't. I really wish oh, you would shave yeah. it. One, two, my coffee. So I didn't know what coffee to get, so I always hear people talk about Nescafe, so I just got the classic Colombian coffee. And now we whip and nay nay. <laughs> this is not a cooking show. Stiff peaks. All right, ice, milk. All right, there it is. I'm gonna stir it because I feel like it's just gonna taste like gross coffee on top of it. Still feel, I feel like I prefer my regular coffee. Oh. <laughs> you I don't know. Wait, Mama? Yeah. Why is there a 23 minute timer? We set our timer for 20 minutes, not an hour. I don't know, ask your father. I don't know if I like this very much. Give it to John. Just do another 23 minutes and you'll be done. What? No. What the heck is that? That doesn't look like coffee. Oh, is it good? I don't know. You'll have to tell me. What? You didn't taste it? I did. <laughs> if you don't like it, I'll make you regular coffee. I don't know. I don't think I will be repeating this again. It smells weird. It smells weird? I don't know, I followed the directions. I don't know. I don't like that. I want my regular coffee back. All right, John and I are going back to our normal coffees because <laughs> that was not good. And I just, I don't know. That's just our preference though.
just spent basically all day <laughs> sewing masks. This is what they look like. This right here has like a metal copper wire. I just picked up this like copper wire from uh, Walmart and, and then I ordered some shoelaces from Target for drive up and they were on sale too, which is great. And so I just used a 45 inch shoelace to keep it on my face. And then dun, 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 when I untie this, I there's a pocket. So the way they're sewn is there's a sewn in pocket. So I can put a replaceable um, insert. So I have a bunch of flannel that I'm gonna use to put as an insert in here because if you use quilting cotton and then some type of like insert like flannel or fleece um, in between, it makes it really, really good for filtration and stuff. Boys masks, Wyatt's must be in his room, but this is John's. I made out of Star Wars fabric for them because John picked out the Star Wars fabric. So yeah, I also have Marvel comic, but the girls all wanted pink ones. So I have pink ones down here. And then again, I made some extras as well. So anyways, I'll probably work on some more tomorrow, but I'm just happy to have gotten my mask done and John's mask done because I feel at this point, it's kind of irresponsible for us to go out in public and not wear a mask when our governor has asked us to and the CDC has asked us to Again, because I'm not really worried about myself. I mean, I am worried about myself and my kids, but me wearing a mask is more for other people. The last thing I would ever, ever want in life is to get somebody else sick and potentially harm them to the point of being hospitalized or dying or anything like that. I do not want that on my conscience. I also just don't want to ever do it to anyone. So for me, it's like, yeah, I feel better having those. So if I do have to go out for any reason, we have them. Another Friday everyone's and everyone's been lazy. Lazy, lazy. Yeah, it's a day off. Day off. Day off. She doesn't have to oh, do sweet. Anything. I've got a jet. Well, I have stuff to do Sunday, but I don't know. Are you petting her head? <laughs> As I mentioned the other day, John kind of took over my space for his work stuff, but. It's annoying having my sewing stuff on the kitchen table because then when we eat or anything else, I'm worried about my stuff getting dirty or having to move it and stop and clean everything up. So we're trying to share this space. We'll see how it goes. I don't really need that much space for my sewing machine, so that's good. And it's a little bit more comfortable in here for the doggies when they come and lay next to me because they're just so adorable. Oh my goodness. It's bang bang chicken. So, so good. These are all the people currently playing. John's setting up my computer to play Seven Days to Die. I'm gonna go get your mouth. With our friends. <laughs> I refuse to play unless I can be in bed with my doggies. I also have my night garden. So, if I'm lisping, that's why. <laughs> 